how's our pet little project coming along? Are we getting any closer into destroying the owner of the greasy spoon? Not to mention raking in a bundle of cash. Everything is going swimmingly, Father. It's all been planned exactly as we discussed. In fact, it's even kickoff time as we speak. Well, wonderful. Oh? What's being kicked off? Well, I'm almost jealous. Of what? Well, of my sister and my father working so closely together on a project is all. It just makes me miss you at the company. Well, it's a compelling venture. Are you sure you don't want to make us part of the Spalding Empire? We're positive, son. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to push. Well, for heaven's sake, no, you're not pushing, Alan Michael. It's just that this uh, project has a very high risk factor, and we won't... We don't want to endanger Spalding or your leadership at the helm in any way. Isn't that right, Amanda? It would be counter to everything you've achieved with the company, Alan Michael. It's true. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about this project? Ah, uh, here you are. <clears throat> well, what do you think? Do I look sophisticated enough to have my own neptician? Ah, that's who this is for. Oh, oh okay. Yes, I understand. someone who plans weddings. Yes, and Cassandra's the best in the business. Well, what would I know about weddings or marriages or anything? Right, um, we're sorry about Reva. Lucy, did I, did I mention her name? And what, what made you bring her up? Uh, no, uh, no, it, it was just, well, I know that she's with my father right now, so I'm sorry. Look, after giving it a great deal of thought, I've realized that everyone in Springfield is with the person that's best suited for them, especially my son and you. And I couldn't be happier for the both of you. Look, I don't care how much it's gonna cost. Lucy wants the wedding of her dreams and I'm gonna give it to her. I would think that the father of the bride could contribute something, even if it is Buzz Cooper. Never mind. Look, Buzz is Lucy's father. Now, you two hung together when our lives were on the line. You can perform the same miracle for one day. It's going to be the most beautiful, the most wonderful, the most important day of my life. Son, you don't have anything to worry about. No matter what I feel or think about Buzz Cooper, I don't hold it against Lucy. I won't embarrass her in any way, I yeah, promise. Well, I hope so. Still, I would be much... There is a well-dressed woman at the side door. Ah, uh, too well-dressed for my taste. Oh, that must be Cassandra. Bloomgarten, I think she said. Yes, Cassandra Bloomgarten. In person, huh? I always enter a client's house through the tradesperson's entrance because, after all, that's what I am, <laughs> despite my breeding and education. But never mind, we all do what we have to do, huh? <laughs> N'est-ce pas? Uh, alors, who's who and what's what? Uh, well, I guess I'm who. Ah. And I suppose that means that I'm what? Oh, how droll. <laughs> and this wedding is going to be delicious. <laughs> well, that's what we're hoping for, a day filled with lots of fun. Oh, no, ma chère, you have the wrong idea entirely. <laughs> uh, I have the wrong idea about my wedding? Yes, fun is out. Out? Mm -hmm. Out. Fun. I never heard of it. <laughs> oh, why are we always the last to know? Why, why doesn't anyone ever tell us this? All that energy wasted for... All for not. Oh, the entire family is droll. Good. <laughs> uh, but you misconstrued. What I meant was mm. that fun is out wedding-wise. Oh, how oh. rude of us not to offer you a drink, Miss... Uh... Oh, Cassandra, to my friends. Well. Bloomgarten, dear. Well, uh, what would you like to drink, Miss Bloomgarten? Oh, I'm afraid I only drink champagne. Well, have no fear. I'll get you some champagne. Right now. <laughs> Nothing after 79. Oh, I'll dig deep into the cellar. Uh, uh, excuse me. Um, this no fun thing, what, what exactly do you mean by that? Well, austerity is all Quran. The cutting edge is deeply ritualistic, solemnly medieval. We'll start with the colors. I have a sample book out in the limousine, but um, I'll fetch it as soon as I've had a flute of bubbly. Um, think black and navy. This is their year. Yeah. Ah, one of my favorite sounds in the world. I can see that. <laughs> uh, I was wondering if maybe we could talk about flowers. Yeah. Oh, we can talk about anything. Flowers, cabbages, kings. <laughs> I've known a few of those in my time. Well, I was thinking uh, daisies and dandelions. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, but For what? 
for the wedding bouquets. Yeah, it's natural, simple. Wildflowers. Uh, are you planning a druid ceremony? If so, it's been done. Uh, I did it. Last midsummer night, we rented Stonehenge. Mm -hmm. Flaxen-haired maidens in rough linen and thongs, dandelions in their hair. Huh? It was a complete disaster. Mm. Yes, two inches of rain fell during the ceremony, doused the candles, watered down the mead. The mud was ankle deep. It was a horror. Anyway, it's been done. Daisies and dandelions be gone. Oh, <laughs> uh, black narcissus. That's what we want. Hmm? Um, no, that's, that's not what we want. When you're listening to Lucy, what she wants is what she gets. No! You must be joking. It's all too nouveau. I could never be a part oh, of something Oh, you so won't, I'm sorry to say. Why don't you take your books with all due respect, mm -hmm. and you go out the side entrance, and you can ply your trade to some other sucker. Excuse me. Consider yourself paid in full. Ciao. Black narcissus. <laughs> oh, so it is. Oh, Caron. Oh, deeply ritualistic. Oh, Solemnly oh, medieval. Baby, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Well, at least he found us droll. <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. What about that one idea? Stonehenge. Now, I like that. Don't you think it'll work? Oh, it's been done, darling. Oh, yes, I vote for the so pyramids, right. where we can have a reception in a pharaoh's tomb. Mm -hmm. Well, the <laughs> Great Wall of China sounds like oh, a lot yeah, of fun, too. Yes, that's right. Circus Maximus, for heaven's sake. Piccadilly Circus. How's that vitamin balance? With all the car all the minutes running around? The most important thing is that your wedding be the most fun, and the most romantic day of your life. Yes, I would love that. <laughs> You're going to be the most beautiful bride. I just know it. Hey, hey, have you, um, thought about Paris? You two could get married on, on a ferry boat idea. going down the Seine. We, we could arrange to have the ferry captain That's do the great. honors. Oh, that would be yeah, beautiful. Yeah, imagine that uh -huh. Paris in the springtime. Ooh. Or, or, think about a country cottage wedding in England. What about that? That'd be really great. Exactly. Yeah. Flowers See, everywhere. Hey, 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 hey. Alan Michael could arrive on horseback. And I look oh, come on, on don't be absurd. Look, I think we have to put our energies now to looking for, for a new nuptician. No, 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 oh, wait, please. wait, wait. I, I, I want Amanda to do it. Do what? Plan my wedding. Me? Yeah, why not? I mean, I've loved every idea that you've come up with. Well, all right, except for maybe the pharaoh in, in Egypt. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Say, say yes, just say yes. Yeah, come say on, yes. you can't turn her down, Amanda. Why well, won't I? I'll do it. Yeah. Oh, I, well, oh, please, I have tons of ideas for the two of you. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so thrilled to be asked. Oh, good, as long as you don't Well, I'm thrilled. This is going to be incredible. A toast to my daughter, Amanda, who single-handedly rescued Ella, Michael, and Lucy's wedding from the clutches of that... Certified that, uh, nuptician. Uh, well, I think certifiable is more like... Oh, that's like anyone right. crazy. <laughs> she was, but thanks to you, I know what kind of wedding I don't want. Absolutely. <laughs> to Amanda. To Amanda. Here. Oh, oh, oh. Dear. How clumsy of me. Ooh. A, a maid can get it. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me get it, please. Hello. Hey, it's me. Oh, my goodness. Who is it, Alexandra? Oh, I'm so glad to hear from you. Um, can, can you hold on a moment? Oh, okay. Alex, who is it? Oh, I, an old college chum of mine. I really thought oh, she just it's... dropped off the face of the earth. We had a lot of catching up to do. I'm going to take it in the study, okay? I won't be gone long. I just don't want to... I don't want my personal life to interfere with this celebration. <laughs> I'll be right back, promise. You know, Amanda, anything you need to help get the wedding ball rolling, don't hesitate to ask. Yeah. Oh, well, um, as soon as I come up with a few more ideas, I'll let you know when you can decide. Well, I have full faith in whatever you come up with. <laughs> oh, thank you. All I know for sure, though, is that your wedding is going to be the most glorious day of love and romance that you can imagine. Oh, and don't worry. Be a lot of fun. We're you know, you're a sweetheart for doing this. Oh, please. Oh, it's my pleasure. <laughs> I, to be a part of this, Sharon, all of this, it, it just means so much to me. Wow, well, thanks. We appreciate it. <laughs> you will have enough time, right? I mean, now that you're working with Alan. Oh, well, Lucy, don't you worry about a thing. Of course you'll have enough time left over to help for the wedding. Well, I knew you wouldn't mind, Father. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be wonderful for me. Really, I, you know, I can live vicariously through you two fantasize about 
what I might really want if I were lucky enough to marry the man of my dreams. <laughs> hey, hey. You know, you're gonna find somebody when you least expect it. Yeah, well, I hope so, because I, I gave up expecting anything. Oh, don't give up hope. Are you kidding? You're gonna have it before you know it, and then I'm gonna have to plan your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just toss that bouquet my way, all right? All right, it's a deal. <laughs> You know, son, someday you're going to know what it's like. The wonderful feeling you have when to see your children working together side by side. Not because they have to, but because they want to. It's a feeling that, well, that money can't buy. It's all working out, isn't it? Well, listen, uh, I need to get going. I have some business to attend to with Lucy. Business? Right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this has been really wonderful. Ah, on our way. Okay, well, um, thanks again. I can't give you enough. Don't thank us, Lucy. You're family now. Hey, and See? get ready, because we're going to be talking a lot, at least 20 times a day. I tell you, when I get started on something, I am an avalanche of ideas. Yeah, I'll keep them all coming. Right. You're the best for this. I'm okay, okay. Thanks for okay, 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 guys. Bye. 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 Enjoy. Alexis, Alexander, we say goodnight. They really don't know how, how lucky they are. I think they do. Ever since Brent Lawrence. Okay, sweetheart, you're doing great. You're very, very good at... Whoa, whoa, watch it. Watch entryways. It's kind of like a snipe punch, isn't it? <laughs> it's not this is your life. Don't worry. So you know where you are? Huh? Uh, I think the beach. Maybe just from the sand in my shoes. Well, well, wait a second now. How do you know it's not a circus? You know, they, the circus tents have sand on the floor. No, they don't. They have sawdust. No, no. Some of the better circuses have sand. Oh. Oh. Those must be the elephants, then. With a very bad case of laryngitis. <laughs> well, it's funny, though. They don't smell like elephants. Well, they were just washed. <laughs> <laughs> but, Beach, you are out of your mind. Oh, I can't fool you. <laughs> About the beach or being out of your mind? About both. Mm. <laughs> I am. I am at the beach. Oh. I am at the beach, and I am in love, crazy in love, with a girl named Lucy Cooper, and I am going to get married to her again. <laughs> And she, this time, is going to wear a wonderful gown with dandelions and daisies because it's what she wants. And whatever she wants, she gets. That's right. right? <laughs> she was a scary lady. <laughs> she was. But I have everything that I want, you know. Got you. Uh-huh. I think they heard me? No. I think they're just talking to each other. Ships passing in the night. Yeah. You know that could happen to us. Seriously. Do you ever think about that? Really? I mean, if we did one thing differently, we may not be here. Yeah. No, nothing that we could have done or anybody else could have done would have changed it. I mean... This is all written up there before uh, any of this even existed. Oh, so zen. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Hey, that, that's, that's where the lighthouse is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Ah, God, you think we'll ever, ever be able to forget that? Well, I think we got to... Gotta think there was a good reason for it. Yes. Just never be the same after that. No, we'll never be the same. That bomb was ticking that Brent made. I've never been so scared in my life. I mean, for the first time, I really thought that gonna die. But then you just, you kept pulling at me and telling me not to look at it. And suddenly when I looked in your eyes, I was able to stop being scared, you know, because it didn't matter anymore. I was with you and, and that was who I should be with. And, and with that, nobody could hurt me. 
You know, when we were holding hands you know, through the bars. And we made up our own vows. I mean, not because we had to. I pledge myself to you for as much time as we had together and for all eternity after that. No man has ever felt as married to you as I did at that moment. As I will very, very soon. <laughs> Our love is that strong. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's stronger than pain. Nothing Brent or anybody else could ever do is going to take that away from us. Yep. Shooting star. Yeah. You want to make a wish? No, I think I'm going to leave that for somebody else. I got everything I've wished for right here in front of me. You go. Go ahead. You can say. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at me, straight as that. You're just too sweet. Allow me. Alex and Hawk are engaged to be married, Alan Michael, and I think the sooner the better. Hmm? Uh, so do I. <laughs> well, we, 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 we were going to keep our engagement a secret until after your wedding because we didn't want to steal any of your thunder. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't be silly, Alex. No, your happiness only adds to the romance that's already in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me to have the water check. Look, I think that Hawk and Alexander are proof positive that the fickle finger of fate can tap anyone, uh, anywhere, uh, anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> and it soon will be our turn, Amanda. Oh, I'm in no rush, Father. Oh, after all, I've still got to finish organizing Lucy and Alan Michaels. Oh, my. What? Of course. Why don't we have a double wedding? That's hey. a marvelous idea. Well, it's out of the question. Now, oh. Lucy and Alan Biker are going to get married exactly as planned, yeah. and Hawk and I will have a old, quiet little old ceremony someday. Oh. No, 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 Alex. After all you've done for me, I insist that you and Hawk wed in style. Hey, how about someone with a hoedown theme? You have um some bales of hay for the guests to sit on. Hey, <laughs> it's a gingham bride's maid's dress. Is it? An all banjo band? And plenty of barbecue. Oh, yeah. That's inspired, huh? Let's have some champagne to celebrate, all right? This all is right. getting out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> really out of hand. No, 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 no. At the risk of sounding like your fiance, you ain't seen nothing yet. Hog, hog. Yeah, sit a spell. All right. So, um, Hog, have you made any plans for the honeymoon yet? Well, uh, Motels in Oklahoma are dirt cheap during tornado season. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just love that droll sense of humor? Oh, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> you know, Hawk, you and I have had our differences in the past, but I hope they don't come between us and my sister's happiness. Huh? I'd do anything for my passion flyer. Even men fences with the likes of you, boy. Well, you're a good man, Hawk Shane. <laughs> Now listen, why don't you let me take you uh, for a walk around the mansion here and uh, let no, you tell no, me no. about my sister? No, 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 I will not allow that. Earth. What? Alex, calm down. Remember your blood pressure. Yeah, why don't you want me to talk to Hawk? I just want to get to know my future <laughs> brother-in-law better, that's all. We make the other, all the rest of our lives for that, dear. Oh, I don't mind uh, chewing the fat with my soon-to-be brother-in-law. No, 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 because he'll just, he'll just give you an endless barrage of nosy questions. It's only fitting that he see to it that, I, that I'm going to do right by you, Queenie. I, <laughs> I'm glad to tell him what's in my heart. 
Yeah, but my ears will burn to a crisp. You know, there's no fun nibbling on nubs. <laughs> Queenie's got some tasty lobes, that's oh. for sure. <laughs> oh, stop! <laughs> no, you're gonna stay right here with me. <laughs> Sorry, bro. My betrothed needs me. Well, perhaps another time, Hawk, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, right. Um, Alex, I... <clears throat> Well, I, I won't deny that I am indeed surprised. Well, but Alan if you Michael, and please, Hawker, please, please, uh, please, it's all right. You don't have to say anything. I mean, it's uh, well, what what Hawk and I have is <laughs> indescribable. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> indescribable. Oh, good drinks. Oh boy, oh, here we go. Thank you. Honor? Thank, Thank you. you. Please, you're gonna want that to will like be something. all. <laughs> all right. Oh, and uh, tell whomever that is that we're not home. A toast to my sister, the prisoner of love, and to the man who convicted her. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Out of our way. Mr. and Mrs. Cooper. You didn't really think you'd get away with it. Tell me you're not trying to run me and my family out of the diner and away from Fifth Street. Buzz, that is ridiculous. Is it, Alan? I don't think so. Look, instead of hurling accusations, why don't you just sit down and we'll talk about this? Obviously, there's been a misunderstanding. Yes, Buzz, really. I mean, why do you think my brother's behind your troubles at the Fifth Street? Couldn't it just be new help or something? A health inspector showed up out of the blue, <laughs> found non-existent violations, and wouldn't let me fix them. That's not fair. Tell me about it. You did this, Alan, because you were upset with me for marrying Buzz. And this is your way to get back at both of us. Say it isn't true, brother dear. Of course it isn't. Now, look, we've all looked for scapegoats at one time in our life. But to say that I paid off a health inspector to close down the diner is absolutely ridiculous. Is it, Father? Surely you don't think that I would do something What's like this project this, huh? that you and Amanda are working on together? The one you're so secretive about that you won't even tell me. I don't think Alan would do what you're accusing him of. I mean, not after Brent, right? The two of you teamed up to save us? Well, is she right, Father? You know, I think I'm the victim of my old reputation. I might have done something like this in the past, son. You haven't changed. You don't know that, Reva. You don't know a lot about me. But it saddens me that you think that your sister and I would stoop to something so petty. Look, that's not an answer. Look, look, what Father and I are working on has nothing to do with the diner, yes. Alan Michael. The only reason we don't want to involve you now is that we want to make sure it gets off the ground first. We don't want to put you or Spalding at any risk. Once, once it's underway, we'll be happy to share the details. Okay, fine. Just look me in the eye and tell me that you have nothing to do with shutting the diner down. Son, I swear to you, I am completely... Guiltless. I believe you. Me too. Look, I don't know how to prove my innocence other than by telling you that I will help you find the person responsible for this. I will use all of my contacts at City Hall and we'll get to the bottom of this one way or the other. Do that. Good. Well, now that that is settled, won't you join with us in celebrating Alex and Hawk's engagement? What? what? You have got to be kidding me. Uh, it's true, sister. <laughs> Queenie and me are uh, fit to be tied. <laughs> you divorced Mama? Well, uh, no, not, not quite. Which means you're still married to her, right? In a, in a technical, uh -huh. uh, legal sort of way. Uh, d d divorcing Sarah is intimate. <laughs> he means imminent. <laughs> Now you know why I'm trying to be so discreet. The divorce is a, just a, merely a formality. Let's celebrate the inevitable. What do you say? Come on. Well, drink up, sister. <laughs> this old hawk has caught himself a lovebird. <laughs> I do hope we can be friends. <laughs> How much of that have you had to drink? Oh, I don't <laughs> buy it. I don't buy your innocent act any more than I buy Alexis Colby being hitched to Pa Kettle over there. I mean, no offense. Sorry, oh. kids. Mm. My, my, my. He's like a dog with a bone, huh? Him or you, Alan? Are you so fixated on me that you can't let me go? You know, I might say the same thing about you. You come over here in the middle of the night making wild accusations. You know, one might think that you came here just to see me, Reva. Let's blow this pop stand. 
gonna get to the bottom of this. Night, sister. Well, I'm uh, sorry about that. Hey, I wouldn't worry about it, Father. I'm sure it all cool down once Lucy marries Alan Michael and Alexandra went hot. So, a toast to our futures. The best is yet to come. A toast. <laughs> You know, you're incredible. It's amazing. Well, I practiced that backhand a little No, I'm talking about the concept for the wedding. It's perfect. It has everything that I possibly need. And Lucy is going to go nuts. Well, good. I'm glad you like it. I tell you, I had to come up with something wonderful after that man from NASA just laughed at me and hung up. You're kidding, right? Well, it's not like I expected to use the space shuttle for free. <laughs> well, I think this idea is going to be infinitely better, Amanda. It's... I mean... Who wants to have champagne in a tube? Ooh, ooh, thank you. Thank you. That reminds me, I gotta order some non-alcoholic bubbly. Here, oh, mm -hmm. here. Check out the wedding list. Um, see if I left anyone out. Okay. Sparkling cider, two cases. Wait a minute, are you out of your mind? All right, four cases. No, I'm not talking about the stupid cider. I'm talking about this. What's his name doing on this list? He's the last person that I want there on the most important day of my life. Don't you understand what this means? Don't you understand what it is that they took from us? It's over now. We have a life here. You call this a life? No, I had a life in Springfield. And I want it back. I'm sorry, Alan Michael. I didn't know that inviting Philip would upset you. It's all right. I shouldn't have blown up at you. I mean, you wouldn't have known. The last time I saw our brother, you know, he, he, was, he was a sweetheart. Certainly father's pride and joy. I just assume... We should never assume anything about Philip. As far as him being a sweet little kid, he's stopped being that a long time ago. I had no idea things had gone so wrong between you two. Let's just say that my life has been a hell of a lot better without him in it, okay? Okay. But, you know, it's, it's gonna look a little odd if Philip's name isn't on the guest list. I mean, the press already thinks the Spaldings are Latter-day Borgias. I'd, I'd hate to give them reason to... You know, ask questions well, you don't you want to answer. you mentioned Philip's name, and I guarantee you, you're not going to get good press anyway. Why, why? What did he do? Wait a minute. Father didn't tell you why he left town? No. Father's... In fact, Father's very reluctant even to talk about Philip. Oh, I guess, well, it wouldn't be mentioned in the... in the Spaulding family album. But, um, our esteemed brother left town to do community service in lieu of jail time. Philip? I can't believe that. Oh, yeah, he faked his own death in order to avoid uh, being set up on murder charges. And he had his best friend, Rick, help him do it. They both got in a lot of trouble. Well, no wonder Father's mum about the subject. Yeah. Father tried to make Philip into a real Spaulding. He finally got his wish. But the, the Philip that I knew, he seemed so, so gentle, so loving. He was so sensitive. He adored poetry. He, he, didn't he want to be a writer someday? Yeah, well... He has talents for uh, being different things to different people. He's very charming, like you say. He can even dazzle his enemies with his smile. His eyes look right into your soul. I've seen him cry at sunsets and laugh at the dumbest things. But I've also seen his other side. <laughs> you make him sound like Jekyll and Hyde. You know what a hubris is? Excessive pride? Yeah. That's Philip. See, everything came so easily to Philip that he thought that it was his due. He always expected, no, I'm sorry, wait a minute, he demanded more. More power, more love, more money, more whatever. People always gave everything to Philip, and they always paid the price for it. I mean, his, his family, his wives, his friends. You name one person who has ever loved my brother. And I will name you people that have scars to show for it. Come on, aren't you exaggerating just a little bit? I wish I were. But if you don't believe me, why don't you ask people like uh, Rick and Blake or even Ross for that matter? Okay, so you're saying that Philip has hurt anyone who ever loved him. Does that include Father? Well, Father never stopped loving him no matter what Philip did to him. So then Philip did let him down? Oh, more times than I can count. I mean, not that Dad ever considered anything that Philip ever did to be wrong. Unlike you and me, you mean? We've always had to walk on eggshells around him. You know, from the moment that Philip was born, it never seemed to bother Dad that he wasn't his real son. 
He thought the sun rose and set on Philip. And when I was growing up, I did too. Made waves wherever he went. Girls, school, sports, business. I wanted to be just like him. And he thought that was real cute for a while. And then? Well, then he realized I was his competition. Are you sure that you didn't see him as a threat? Yeah, what difference does it make? The point I'm trying to make is that Philip always thought that he could get away with anything. Well, is that what we Spaldings are supposed to do best? Yeah, maybe, but Philip o did never have to try for it. He always knew that he would be forgiven, Amanda. And you know what? He was right. Yeah. Meanwhile, some of us have always had to pay and pay for every mistake we've ever made. Now, Philip is the last person that I want at my wedding. Oh, now, come on. Now, now what could he possibly do? Ellen? He could steal the spotlight from Lucy. Come on, after everything that she has been through, to have him just waltz in and, and, and make her play second fiddle on the day that is supposed to be the best day of her life. You know, you can be honest with me, Alan Michael. Are you really worried that Philip is going to steal the spotlight from Lucy? Or from you? Well... I knew the truth would come out sooner or later. Hi. Uh... So much for this business meeting this morning. Playing hooky today, uh, are we? <laughs> yeah, and since you found out, I have no choice but to silence you. <laughs> well, in that case, you should play hooky more often. <laughs> you look great in this suit. Mm, thank you. Just wait till you see me in my wedding gown. Uh, I don't care what you wear. Well, I can't wait. Well, you're not going to have to wait too much longer, I don't think. Why? What's going on? Well, I think that Amanda has hit on the perfect place for our wedding. Where? 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 Somebody tell me! We're getting married at the top of the Empire State Building at sunset. Mm, try again. San Francisco, Fisherman's Wharf. Keep going. Corner of Hollywood and Vine. Mm, and the winning answer is... Bing. All and none of the above. <laughs> Great, Great, all and none of the above. Yeah. What does that mean? What, are we going to fly across country? Well, what's the point of using uh, having a private jet if you don't use it? Come on, you guys. Somebody tell me where. The point is that you should have a very special, wonderful moment on that day, right? Right. So take everything that you think your wedding is supposed to be, roll it all into one, mm -hmm. and that's what it's going to be. Great. I'm getting married at a travel agency. <laughs> no, no, Lucy, come on, come on, sweetheart. Think big. I mean, fun is it's universal. No, no, wait. You guys didn't, you didn't get the space shuttle, did you? I really don't want to drink champagne out of a tube. Um, Lucy, no. My brother has asked me to create a wedding that will be awesome. Mm -hmm. Totally romantic yeah. and unique. Mm -hmm. And I just think we hit pay dirt. Yeah. Well, would you give me a little hint, at least? Oh, come on. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, you are about to marry one of the last truly romantic men in the universe. Why, thank you. Uh, a man who is capable of fulfilling all of your dreams, each and every one of them. More, more, more. Oh, thanks. What kind of a hint is that? That's all you're gonna get. <laughs> how am I gonna make it to the altar? I'll I don't make know sure that you get there, don't worry. And how about our families? I will make sure that they get there, too. And how? We will, will we put something in the invitation telling everyone to meet at the airport? Mm hmm You're kidding, right? I told you it was romantic. Ah. Mm. Wow, well, I guess most girls get carried to their weddings in carriages or limousines. I get my own vapor trail. I'll do <laughs> anything for you, Lucy. Mm. Anything. Good. Tell me where this wedding is. Lucy, what's wrong? Nothing. Why would you think that? It's about the wedding, isn't it? Well, it's just that it's hard to dream about something when you don't know what it is. But that's the whole point, see? Whatever you dream is what your wedding is. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay, listen to me, listen to me. Do you think I love you? Yeah, without a doubt. Or do you trust me? Yes, All right, then trust me on this one. You are going to get the wedding of your dreams. And you're going to remember it forever and ever. Which is about as long as we're going to be together. Well, I guess if you put it that way, okay. Okay.
Look, if you want to stay in the desert with the rats and the scorpions, that's fine. But I am going to Alan Michael's wedding. You're asking for trouble. Uh, yeah, there's going to be trouble. There's going to be big trouble. You guys think of everything. They're seals. I don't believe it. Well, it wouldn't help anyway, Lucy. The only thing written on the invitation is the time to meet at the Sporting Gym. Sorry. I got a deal. How about massages, free massages for an entire year? Oh, she's relentless. For two? Come on, Abigail. Please? Okay, fine. Fine? So you guys can't be bought off. I'm gonna find out no, anyway. No, 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 no. Nothing, nothing here to do. Nothing here to do. <laughs> Do you think it's going to be Belgium. nice? Belgium. Binghamton. Sunny, maybe. Bermuda. Bermuda? What is it? That's it. Oh, Bermuda. Game of geography or something? <laughs> oh, yes, thank you. Maybe maybe you could give me just a hint as to oh, where we're going. Lucy, now. darling, I'm so sorry. I don't know any more than you do. Oh, come on. Amanda must have told you something. Something. Oh, no. Amanda keeps tight lid on almost everything, don't you, dear? Well, you. just one of those spotting trades, mm. eh, Alex? <laughs> Never say today what you can save for tomorrow. Yeah, speaking of saving something, <laughs> uh, I'd rather not save this. Um, Abigail, this is for you. For me? Yeah. I know that you got roped into our wedding plan, so <laughs> instead of working on my father's project, so we would like for you to come celebrate our wedding with us. You want me to come to your wedding? Yeah. We would love it if you did. Yeah. Will you? Wherever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for inviting me, but I can't. You have to, Abby. We really, really want you to come. I can't. Wait, is it the money? I mean, because we're paying for everything. No, no, no. It's not the money. I would love to come to your wedding. Look, um, why don't you take this conversation out on the terrace, the Forsythia? Oh, yeah, or... yeah, yeah. Abs... What is it? Well, your father has arranged for me to go to New York so I can take some classes. Oh, well, that's great. Some more sign language classes? No, no, office classes. You learn computers. Oh, so I can help Mr. Sparthing here with his business. Well, we'll well, I miss think you. you're going to be great at computers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wish I had a, an assistant who had those kind of skills. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> well, I think it's great, and we're going to miss you a lot, but yeah. I, for one, think you should go for anything you want. Mm -hmm. uh, and speaking of going, my dear bride, it's time for us to go. Oh, my dad, at the diner. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll bring back lots of pictures. Yeah, yeah, okay. own personal movies. Hey, uh, you all just give me a call. You have any last-minute okay. things you need? Oh, all right. Don't hesitate to call on me. Amanda here can't handle every detail. <laughs> okay, all hands on deck. Well, that all depends on where it is. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Don't start. Lucy's been at me all morning about that. Well, she has a right to. I mean, she's the bride. She has a right to know where she's going to be tying. Sure, sure, what sure, are we not. supposed to wear? Don't ask me. Whatever I have no want. idea where we're going. All right, Give it up. Give it up. Come on. What about this wedding? I don't know what you're talking about. Is that right? Well, hold on. A wedding without a church? We're supposed to bring our suitcases to the tarmac? You guys are as bad as Lucy, you know that? She's my daughter. She's my sister. And she's going to be my wife, and she's going to have a wonderful time, and so are you. Oh, happiness I can take. Happiness I can take, but not knowing where I'm going, that's out of the question. Oh, will you just trust me, Daddy, okay? The last time I got an open invite, I spent four unhappy years in Southeast Asia. So all right, all right, all right. I'll tell you one thing, and one thing only, but I tell you both, if you say anything to Lucy, I'll kill you. Talk on his honor. All right. We're going to Orlando. As in Florida? Mm-hmm. Oh, tell me. Tell me you're not going to get married to mouse here. No, 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 no. There's going to be fantasy everywhere, but not a mouse here in sight. Well... Florida, here we come. I got it. The moon. You got the moon. 